Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I am your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com and today I am coming at you with a video about the big benefit of air-coupled GPR antenna. Um, most of the people I work with, I talk to them about ground coupling. I'm a big fan of having your system literally dragged and riding on the ground surface. Um, you know, we, we as the, the more your system is on the ground and it's coupled with the ground, uh, which means that they're articulating with each other, uh, the more energy actually ends up in the ground. The higher up your antenna goes, the less energy actually makes it into the ground. For people like me who are training folks in utility locating and civil engineering and you know near surface geophysics, um, but possibly trying to find targets that are five, six, seven meters below the ground surface, we want all the energy we can get going into the ground. So I suggest ground coupling for most people. However, Recently, we've had quite a few people show up to our workshops and uh, um, check out at learngpr.com upcoming dates and times and locations for those. Uh, we welcome people of all different you know, uh, systems and applications and industries and uh, municipalities and public sector and private sector. Um, go to learngpr.com and check that stuff out. But recently, the point was is that we've had quite a few people come who are doing roadway analysis or roadway kind of condition assessments and bridge deck condition assessments and uh, they have really thin layers and they need fine-grained analysis and investigations of these layers and for roadway analysis or kind of condition assessment looking for asphalt thickness uh, um, you know base thickness um, you know all, all, all kinds of things um, uh, uh, is there's a big benefit to air coupling the antenna. So rather than having a ground surface and having your antenna on the ground, right here are your wheels, kind of here's your uh, 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 GPR, this is, you know, little kind of thing over here, and you're pushing it this direction, and this is on the ground. Instead, a lot of these folks in road, doing road work, condition assessments, have... Entire kind of vans, okay. Kind of here's the van, and uh, and then they'll have kind of a thing where it might be something that looks like this, okay. Often called a horn antenna. Horn antennas are designed in order to kind of have more directivity with the signal. So it also can go kind of anywhere, but the way that these horn antennas are designed is it kind of do it, it it does focus. Uh, the energy in, in a given direction more so than any other direction. Uh, these are often used in air coupled systems. So what's the big benefit then of having an air couple versus a ground couple here? Um, if you're kind of trying to look at these really thin layers uh, in, in, in the ground surface, right? What's the big benefit here? Well, you have two antenna, right? You still have your transmitter and you still have your receiver. You get a direct wave going from your transmitter to your receiver, right? Start here, right? So we have a transmitter and a receiver, and you get a direct wave going from the transmitter to the receiver in your ground couple. You also, however, get a ground wave that goes from the transmitter th through the top of the ground up to the receiver. And these two, right? So this, <laughs> pointing arrows to my arrows, one and two end up overlapping each other in your GPR data set. Where do you pick the time zero for this ground couple. There is quite a bit of debate over where you pick it. Do you pick the direct air wave? Do you pick the ground wave? Which comes first? Could be that if you're, if their antenna are separated uh, uh, significantly enough that um, your air wave is going to be the first one. If they're really close together, maybe it's the ground wave. It's, it's difficult. It could, it could be hard to tell. Point is, they overlap each other and it gets a little bit dicey in those first kind of fractions of a nanosecond. But that's important when you're looking at really thin layers. So what's the benefit of air coupling or a big benefit of air coupling is you get a direct wave and that has a signal, change colors here, right? That'll have a signal at time zero. Then you can measure the distance between your antenna and the ground, right? So distance, and then you get to record another reflection, 
okay, or another signal. Now, if you have this second signal and you know what the distance is from the antenna to the, to the ground surface, and you know that the wave moves at a certain speed in air, you can calculate exactly how much time you need to shave off to actually make your ground zero nanoseconds. And you don't get an obstruction or masking of this ground reflection from this, which would be this direct wave in here. Okay, it doesn't mask it. Here, it can mask it. You kind of get one, you get the other. They're somewhat on top of each other. Here, you get one, you clearly get another one. This is your ground surface. You can get zero nanoseconds exact because you can know the distance. Or you can just pick the part of your signal, right? So it's kind of going like this. Okay, you have a, that's your, your direct wave. And then you get another one. Okay, you can pick wherever you want to call your ground surface and it's not obstructed by your direct wave. So that's a big, big, big benefit of air coupled systems. I hope this was helpful. If you ever wondered about air coupling versus ground coupling, what are the benefits or drawbacks of each? I'm not going into it intensively here, um, but this is a big benefit of air coupling. For me, at least as a practitioner, knowing the importance and significance of the ground surface and being able to choose where my real ground surface is and to get all of this information in here without it being masked by this part of the signal is really helpful. So if this could add some value to somebody, uh, please share it around with a friend, a colleague, a, a, a classmate, coworker. Uh, go over to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in and get our introductory video for free. And you'll also will send these to your inbox every single week. And please, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. You'll be first and one notified whenever we have new uh, videos uploaded or like the page so you can see it kind of in your feed. And um, I hope this was helpful. I wish you the best. Good luck.